Tell YouTube, say hey. Tell them hey, send us some hearts on YouTube. You might see your name, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So say hey to the YouTube. So I'ma post y'all in a video that I make today. Wow. roll-ups or something it looked really good so I really wanted to make this so yeah I never made it before so we're gonna see if it come out right if it don't then oh well but I'm trying my best with what I got to make it but yeah so let's just start the video okay so I'm gonna start cutting up these strawberries I already started for the sake of the video but the girl she cut them up in little squares so I think I'm trying to do exactly what she did this is how I think she did it so it ain't gonna be exactly like hers but it's gonna be close I already cut up most of them though so this is done then we're gonna put these she, I don't know if she did this part but we're gonna put these in a bowl with some sugar because I know that's how you make syrup and I want a strawberry syrup to go on top of the stuff when I'm done so I'm gonna put these in this bowl with some sugar because when you put sugar on fruit it dries out all the juices so we're gonna get a fresh strawberry juice. How do you this probably needs to be now? Okay. Now I need some sugar. Okay. Add sugar. I don't know the measurements, y'all. I'm just doing this off of, I don't even know. Just me. That should be enough. Then we're gonna mix that up a little bit. I need a little spoon. Where's that, uh, this will be okay. You're supposed to mix it up with the sugar and leave it for like 10 minutes and you'll get a good little syrup going. Okay, so then she made a cream cheese filling. So you need a block of cream cheese. This had two packs, but uh, I just got one. But that's all you need. She had one pack of cream cheese. So we're gonna do one pack of cream cheese. And she had some confectionate sugar. And confectionate sugar, uh, I don't have it. But I have like a, a well, I don't know, like a, a healthy version of it so it should be the same thing Ugh. it should be the same thing so this is the the confection sugar i have it's like a sugar replacement it's healthier when i was on my world diet or whatever i did i had uh used this to make like milkshakes and stuff so i guess you just add this y'all she didn't have no measurements or nothing so i really can't tell y'all what to do or how much to do but i'm thinking that's enough that's really my whole bag so we're just gonna use all of it and then i'm guessing she softened it up her like this hers was a little bit more softer though because she had her her cream cheese was like sitting out for a little bit i forgot to do all that so we don't have that option right now. Oops. Did she put vanilla in here too? I gotta watch the video real quick. Cheating real quick because I don't know if she did that. I'm about to put this in the microwave because it's too hard. It ain't melting up. 
I know, but it's not melting up like I need it to. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Hold on. Okay, so I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it got real, you know, it got a little softer. So now I could do what I need to do. And then I added just a little bit of vanilla because I think that's what she did. I don't know. But this looks good. So, yeah, I added this in the microwave. Now we're going to mix it up. And this is our filling, I guess, for the cream cheese, the cheesecake part, I guess. So, yeah, that look good. It smells good. It smells good. Okay, that's done. Now we got to do the bread. So, she used regular bread and... She just did a couple slices. I don't know how many she did, but I'm just gonna use all of our bread because why not? Um, we're gonna eat all of them because they gonna come out to be really small. So now you gotta get a knife and she cut off the sides. She did it one by one. So she cut off the basically she cut off the edges. So. I don't know why, but I don't like edges anyway. So we're just gonna cut off all the edges of the bread and be right back. Okay, so now we gotta make a cinnamon sugar. So I think she just did a, a lot of some sugar, like, I don't know, that much? I don't know. I think that's what she did. And then I know she added some cinnamon, so we gotta add some cinnamon. I don't think you need a lot, I'm not sure. One thing I did see her do was she didn't add no cinnamon to her wet stuff, but I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute. I'm gonna get a fork. Okay, so you're gonna mix the cinnamon sugar. And this is what you're gonna roll them in to get that little sweet stuff at the end, the little nice little French toast flavor. So yeah, this is our cinnamon sugar. We can put that to the side. Now we got to make the wet stuff and the wet stuff, um, she just did like one egg and like a cup of milk or something like that or like some milk, I don't know how much, but I'm going to add some, add some extra stuff because I don't remember her doing it like this, but I'm going to do it like she did it, she had, oops, she had one egg, she did an egg, right, and then, uh, she did some milk. I use 2% milk because I just don't know if we drink 2% over here. I think that's enough. And I'm gonna also add some vanilla in here. Oops. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. And I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. Just because, ooh, ooh, shoot. <laughs> Ready? Okay, wait, we're gonna add a little bit of nutmeg just because that's how people make certain stuff. I don't know. I know people put nutmeg in everything. Now we're gonna mix this up. And this is what we're gonna dip it in. So it'll give us a nice crunch on the outside when we put it in the pan. So yeah, this is our milk and egg mixture. Make sure it's really good together. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. Now, we gotta do the bread. Okay, so, now I don't have no rolling pin, so I'm gonna go to getaway, and I'm gonna use this can to roll it out, cause she rolled it out. So I put some paper on here, and I cut them all up. So we're just gonna roll them out like this. See, look at how that works. You don't need no rolling pin. It's, you gotta improvise for what you got. Okay. Now for the sake of the video, I'm gonna just work with these ones and then I'm gonna try to speed up the process for y'all. 
So basically, we got the two flat uh, pieces of bread. That's what she did, right? And then, let me turn my pan on. So let's get that going, get it hot. Okay, so then, oops. She took some of this, right? And she put a little bit like this, I think. Oops, oh shoot. Okay, she did it like this. She said put it only on one edge, like this. I think I put too much. Right? Okay. Oops. So then, she said to put some strawberries. Remember I told y'all we put some sugar? Now we got a little syrup at the bottom. See? A little juice. At the bottom, got a little syrup juice from the sugars and the strawberries. So that's been sitting for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to add, she said add a little bit of strawberries. Like that. Okay, and then she said, you got to dip it in this stuff. Let's make sure this is good. I need some butter. So put some butter in your pan real quick while it's getting hot. Put just a little bit of butter. See, get it going. Okay. And then, so yeah, now she said you roll them up, right? Oh shoot. I don't know how to do this. Ooh, it's breaking. Okay. I got it. Oh no. Oh shoot. Hold on. Okay, okay. I think that's oops. Oh man. I think this is how you do it. And then Okay, right? <laughs> and then she said you put it in here, like this. She said put it in there like that. Ooh, ugh. No, she said you do that last. She said you put it in here. So, I guess that's what I'm about to do for all the bread. Is roll them up, dunk it in this milk stuff and put it in the pan so they can start to cook like that. So we just want to do all of them. The getaway. Y'all, it don't gotta be perfect because I don't even know what I'm doing for real. Like, y'all be looking at my food on Instagram and think it looks so good. That's because that stuff I know how to make, but for y'all, I wanted to try to make something different, so. This is how I'm trying. Okay, then you gotta add your strawberries. I guess you don't wanna overfill it because then it'll start coming out on the side like the last one. Yeah, so this is what it looks like in the pan. We got them cooking up. Now we're gonna come finish the rest of them. This is messy. Oh my goodness. How did she do this so effortlessly? All right, hold on. Roll it in this stuff again. Put it in. And then just keep doing that. And then I'm gonna come back when I get to the last one, okay? Okay, so they're cooking up. See, they're supposed to get like that. You flip them over. You gotta cook them on each side. I just put those in the pan, so those take your time. But those two is already working on it. And yeah, we just gonna let them keep cooking. And I'm be back. Okay, so you guys see, they're getting brown on every side. Oops, they falling apart. That's a big one right there. That's for my boyfriend, y'all. Okay, just keep rotating them. They're almost done, and then once they're done, we're gonna put uh, 
need some more butter. Can never go wrong with butter. Okay, and then once they're done, we're gonna add, um, we're gonna put them in this, in this cinnamon sugar stuff. And yeah, I think these two are almost done. They got a little bit more time. This one can flip. These are so hard to flip. Ooh, okay. And I'm finishing up the last four so those can go in after those are done. Then once I finish up these, I'm gonna show y'all the finished product after I toss those in the cinnamon sugar. We're gonna roll these last ones up. Nice and tight. Like your wig. So we got those out the pan. Now we gotta do the rest of these ones real quick. Throw these in the pan. Really quick. Make sure it's all over. See all that bread? It don't look like a lot. You only gonna get a couple slices. And then this is the last one. Now we're gonna let those cook. Okay, so now these are ready, right? Oh, they look good. They look good, y'all. So now we're gonna take these and put them in our cinnamon sugar. Like this, you just roll it around. This is what the lady did. And it looks like that. So then you just do that with all of them when they're done cooking. These look like uh, the little things from Cinnabon. Or uh, what's it, at Auntie Annie's? Y'all got an Auntie Annie's? Tell me in the comments below. Auntie Annie's? I thought it was Auntie Annie's. No, it's not. It's Auntie Annie's. I called her Auntie Annie's, so she's my Auntie Annie's. Okay. Now, ooh, these smell good, y'all. I'm getting all sides and all angles because I want these to be perfect. Okay. I want them to be super sweet. We making some fresh whipped cream cause I just want some extra to go on top of my on my stuff. So we just making some fresh whipped cream. You gotta beat it. We don't gotta mix it. So this is the old fashioned way. So you gotta beat it like this. And it's gonna get stiff. And then you'll know you got whipped cream. See how thick it's getting? And this is just some uh, vanilla sugar and whipped cream, heavy whipping cream and you just whip it up and it'll be like regular whipped cream look at that y'all whipped cream it's nice and thick boom this the final look y'all this the final product this is the plating this is everything a little a little cinnamon bay on the top of that, just a little bit. I'll add a little bit more. And boom. Voila. Hers. This is hers. This is what she, hers looks like, you know, with the syrup and stuff. I didn't even put syrup on mine yet, but you see hers, right? This was hers. And this is mine. Yeah, guys. Nailed it. I did good. And I did way more than her. Period. Yeah. So, make sure you guys tell me if you liked my recipe. 
my meal because yeah so make sure you guys comment down below and see if i did good let me know if you want to see more cooking videos from me and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the learning